Does Mother have any control over Air anymore? This isn't about me. It's Ryland's birthday. Answer. I sigh. No. It's all mine. Each of us is leeching our mother's powers. We have been our entire lives. As Ryland's ability to control Earth strengthens, mother's weakens. The same with the twins' water and fire. They shouldn't be jealous of me. We all know Air was mother's weakest ability. She never had a knack for it like I do. It's an effort for her to grow a tree now because Ryland can raise a forest. Nina and Marcus are improving every day. They'll transfer all their power soon enough. That's wonderful, Ara. Ryland's smile is tight. Guilt pulls in my chest. I really hadn't meant to take his spotlight. Enough about that. I grab the kettle by hand and pour boiling water into the cups. Now would be a bad time to flaunt my magic. What does a soon-to-be-crowned heir do for fun? Seek revenge against his mischievous little sister? His head tilts as though he's plotting. I grin and blow the balcony door open, content to leave the tea in this conversation behind. Only if you can catch me. A strong gust carries me out into the warm spring day. Free to tumble through the air is how I'm meant to live, like a leaf going anywhere the wind takes me. But a princess cannot live that way. It's almost a shame our magic is bound to the right to rule. The people who have control of the elements should be free to live amongst them. Instead, we're revered and set on thrones in a palace. Although, when I twirl about to look back at it, there are worse places to live. Vines climb higher along the tower toward Ryland's balcony, forming a grand living staircase which he descends with more courtliness than the occasion merits. Meanwhile, the river flowing past the palace shoots upward, giving the twins a slide of water on which to get outside, much more appropriate for the mood. Mirador Palace is a reflection of the magic that passes through our family, keeping the elements close and allowing them to flow through it. It's a portrait of our kingdom as well. Alcos is as beautiful as the graceful slopes of the palace's domed roofs. Our people are as colourful as the city that stretches out before the palace, with minds as open and accepting as Mirador is to nature. Alcos has my heart completely. I'd do anything for this kingdom. Except it hadn't occurred to me that the thing it would need me to do is leave. I sigh and shake off the premature morning. More than half a year has passed since that decision was made and we still don't have a date for it. It may be quite a while and, regardless, I want to enjoy it here while I can. Landing in the soft grass far behind the palace, I wait for my siblings. I will either make sure they miss me terribly after I move away or make them eager to be rid of me. Either way, I'm in the mood for some fun. <laughs>